guys, Matt here. So today we are going to see what's in a cassette tape. This is Auld Lang Sin. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right. Guy Lombardo and his Royal Canadians. So let's see what's in it. I don't even know if they make cassettes anymore. I can't imagine they do because I can't imagine they make cassette players even anymore unless they're retro, you know, like they make retro record players now. So if you know, let me know in the comments. All right, let's get rid of that cheapy case. And here's the cassette tape itself. Remember when you could tape, well, something new, people my age or older, you put uh, one of these in a cassette player that recorded and you put a piece of tape over, I don't know that this one has it. Yeah, I can't remember, it's been 20 years or so at least. Um, or actually probably more than that. I think it was over one of these. Put a piece of tape on it and then you could record from the radio onto this. I don't think it was these. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was one of these two. I can't remember which one though. If you remember, let me know because I'm curious. If any of you guys remember still. So let's see. Does this have any screws? It does not. No screws on it. It is just melted together by cheap, cheap plastic. So let's undo that, shall we? Let's pop this apart and see what's in it. There we go, there's a little bitty space. pinching on my finger that's why it's stuck open there we go all right let's wedge this in there and pop this thing open keep this as much intact as i can for you this little doohickey was here i believe yeah somewhere in that region oh no it was over here and that was there so this is one side, cheapy plastic. Let's get rid of that. This is a little foil, plastic foil cover of some type. I would guess it has something to do with static because there's one here and one on the other side. Um, I know static can ruin film. So I would assume that's what it is. I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments. But here's the plastic tape. And it's just stuck right in this little plastic wheel. It's actually glued in, it looks like. So let's take the other one off. And let's unwind this the fast way. Oh no, we're not gonna be able to listen to it anymore. I don't know who that guy was, but I believe it said Canadian something or other. Sorry Canadians, we still like you though. More than the French. Wait, did I say that out loud? All right. There we go. Actually, I'm just kidding. We don't mind the French. So we got this. We got two little rollers here. We got the felt, I believe, pad that the tape runs across and the reader inside the cassette player is up here and that's where it reads it and a little metal contact behind it. And like I said, one more of these pads. And that's it, another piece of cheapy plastic. So, not much to these, that's for sure. That's why they are uh, out of commission uh, now. We use DVDs and even that's going away, so. Uh, but somehow or another, vinyl records still came back and they make vinyl record players, uh, like vintage ones. So I doubt that will happen with these. But all right, guys, as always, if you would like, share, and subscribe. And if you have ideas for future videos, just let me know. Thank you. Have a good day.